Going forward, and where do you see him fitting that in this defense rotation? Um, I see him being an active, extremely active part of the rotation, three down player, a person that we can count on in multiple situations. Very excited about having him here. And the thing that he has really done is picked up the defense. He's very bright, very, very smart, um, very aware, can play multiple positions, which is what you like. You love the versatility for game day. So I'm really excited about him. Um, really excited what he can do. What did you learn about your group when Vaughn went down and they had to go the rest of that home stretch without him? Well, what was confirmed was just how tough they are, how resilient they are. Um, they they appreciate Vaughn. They, uh, Vaughn is extremely valuable, but they have a lot of self-confidence. And they know that we can continue to be productive and fulfill our role in making sure that our defense continues to function. So guys close ranks and they continue to move forward. And, you know, and so that was confirmed. Uh, Vaughn's absence really didn't really didn't reveal that to me. I kind of knew that that's that's where their character was, and that's what they did. How do you feel it can benefit, especially the younger guys that had a now expanded role after learning and watching Vaughn for half a season? Well, the more reps, the more opportunities you get. Uh, hopefully, you're learning from that. You are able to refer to those things and recall those things in critical situations. And, and with everything that you do, whether it's a positive play situation or this one that you want to get better at. So the more exposure our guys continue to get, I, they're going to utilize that for our benefit. What do you make of Shane Ray's journey and how far he went, how, how, how high he was, how far he had to, to his, in his words, humble himself and to where he got him? Just a lot of respect for how he came to us because, I mean, when you've when you've been at the top of the mountain and I was on the other side of he and Vaughn in Super Bowl 50 and, and uh, when you go from that to being out of the league and trying to fight and claw and scratch your way back in and to come out in a rookie slash tryout situation and have to find a way to get the attention of the staff and, and motivate people enough with what you do to get signed, I just have a lot of respect for that. His attitude was tremendous. And even before the signing came to fruition, there were a lot of things that he conceded about the first part of his NFL career that let me know that he was for real. And seeing him across the way, uh, playing with Denver, what do you recall from him then? And do you see similar traits of his imp the impact that he can make now today? Yeah, I see him working himself back to the point where he is a consistent impact player defensively, especially in rush situations. You know, he's had some, some you know, when, when, when you're missing time as a rusher or as a player, it really, it, it messes with a lot of things that you'd like to be able to count on and depend on to win one-on-one. -on -one. And I see him now working himself back to the point where these things are now reflexes for him instead of things that he has to think about, especially at this particular level. Going back to Vaughn, well, um, you, you don't you don't replace Von Miller, but I have a lot of confidence in our rotation, and we utilized that when Von was available for us, and so um, we'll continue to just work through this process where we are right now in training camp and then obviously in the preseason games to make sure that the guys that are going to be in that position have truly grown from where they were last year. That's my responsibility, to make sure that I'm facilitating growth. And I'm very excited about where a lot of our guys will be. He has not changed one bit. And, um, and I'm fortunate to be familiar with him in that role. We spent a lot of time together. And so I'm able to anticipate um, certain things that will happen on game day. And he has a relationship with me in that role. And so um, 
Yeah, there's a lot of familiarity there. There's a lot of experience. We've logged a lot of time together, and that'll help us. Does it, like, remind you of, like, those times? Like, 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 what's it been like to kind of see him take that over? Well, yeah, it, 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 you know, we, we've got a lot of time together in, uh, in, in the roles that we're in right now. So, yeah, there, there are a lot of good memories. We had a lot of success together, and we'll, we'll, we'll build on that. He seems to be, like, really excited about kind of taking over this role. Have you kind of sensed that from him, that it's, like, I'm challenged again, or, like, have you seen me change? Yeah, um, I, I've, seen, I've seen Sean. Sean's excited and focused every single day regardless of what he's doing. But obviously, being in a situation where he can communicate directly to the defense and the staff and, and, just, and just kind of be hands-on, that's where he started, that's where his love is, that's where his passion is, and so it, it was a natural thing for him. Just continue to play the game uh, as much as you possibly can from the neck up. And... You know, when you have the kind of talent that Ed has, you got to understand situations that could be, mean the difference in separating yourself from the opponent. I've got to be able to process very, very quickly and um, so that I can win my one-on-one, -on -one, so I can play ahead of a play as opposed to playing with the sequence of that particular play. So um, with, with where Ed is from an experience standpoint, we need him to anticipate and play ahead as opposed to playing with the tempo of the play. So just situations, uh, certain nuances with, with, with certain calls and understanding where I can take advantage of that based on my position. What have you noticed about like his approach going into the obviously a contract year, not really your area, but just he's mature, he's calm. What have you noticed about his approach? Well, he's, Ed is, Ed, the confidence piece is there, is definitely there. Ed's more vocal. Um, he's got a lot of things that he can recall. He's having, a, he's having different conversations with the veterans in the room than he did when I first got here, going into his second season. And so um, he's no longer, I guess, tethered to the older guys because of, due to lack of experience. He's got some things that he can add to the conversation. And, um, and, and now that's, that's, a, that's an entirely different mindset when, when you can do that. Hey, Coach, if I could just follow along with you and Elena were talking about Sean and kind of the coordinator rule. I asked him last week, and he said it's about imparting, like, his personality on the players and through OTAs and everything else. It's a process, but that's the, the ultimate goal. And I asked him what that personality was, and he smiled. He goes, I think you know me well enough. And, and, but, I mean, maybe from your time with him prior or whatever, like, how the aggressive mindset, that sort of a thing, what, what, is, what defines him? as a defensive coach in that regard. Black or white, or black and white, you either do it or you did it. He, he's, not, he's not a person that, that exists in the gray at all. Very black and white. Either we're exactly where we need to be relative to the call, a specific technique or fundamental, or we're not. He's very black and white person and very, very intense, extremely intense. I mean, you know, uh, um, so those are the things that immediately come to mind when I talk about his personality and how that would influence the group. There isn't a whole lot, and our business is black and white, but with Sean, you take that to the max. Coach, in one word, can you describe what you want this defensive line to be this year? Um, really physical, and I know that's two words, but physical, physical, physical. We want to impose our will, and we want to stop whatever the offense is presenting to us. Just extremely physical. Greg Rousseau took a big leap forward last year. What did you like about what he did? Just, just growth in so many different areas. We, we challenged Greg, or I challenged him to um, um, in, improve and increase his production in a lot of areas. And, and, and Greg did a, I mean, he basically met every benchmark that I had for him. And so just the improved production, um, Greg is, 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 I mean, I, I, can't, I can't state how much he's done in such a short period of time. And he's only in his, he's going into his third year. You forget a lot of times that this is a third year player. He, a, a very mature, not a lot of background in defensive line, even before the University of Miami, he didn't play a lot there. But they, very smart. He's everything that I thought he would be going through the pre-draft process. When you mentioned checking 
Kingsley knows what we're doing uh, in terms of our scheme, in terms of uh, all of the assignment details. He's quicker now engaging those things or being prepared to engage those things before the ball is snapped. And so he's familiar. He's familiar with our process as a defensive line and, and the way that I communicate. So you're seeing those things, and now he's starting to play a little bit faster and a little bit more decisively. Expectations with A.J. Espinosa coming off a solid year, six and a half sacks, final year of his deal. What are your expectations with A.J.? Just to continue to grow. I, you know, he got six and a half. Let's get, let's, get another, let's get another four or five. Let's get to double digits. Let's be more um, demonstrative. Let's be more precise with our wins. Let's continue to make plays at the point of attack in the run game, continue to play with great effort like A.J. always does. Yeah, it, you know, my confidence is growing with Tim because now, you know, um, Tim's second year with the same coach, same scheme, that's really going to make a difference. I've already seen the difference that that's made. Tim had, had a background that had, that there was a lot of uh, position coaches, a lot of schemes that Tim was a part of and now. So being in his second year here, really, really knowing what we're doing and Tim's improving his level of conditioning, I think, I think you know, he's going to do a great job.